Chester Moore, executive editor of Texas Fishing Game Mag here at the 2011 iCast show with bass fishing legend Skeet Reese. The deck now is trademark yellow. And I've been seeing these yellow rods everywhere, independent tackle research, <laughs> all over Texas, people talking about them. And you got some new stuff coming up here for 2012. Well, it's not just Texas that they're all over. Yeah, it's, all uh, over. I've been fortunate. Uh, black and yellow has stormed the country. So, right. um, you know, the last, uh, this last year we launched uh, a series called the Micro Honeycomb Series. Mm -hmm. Uh, super lightweight, sensitive graphite, but they got the micro guides. Uh, so it makes a lighter, a rod lighter. Uh, it makes mm -hmm. it more responsive, cast better. I know it does makes no sense, but it truly does take a rod to another level as far as performance. Mm -hmm. um, but we expanded that line this year. Uh, there was only four models last year, and they were such a success. Everybody loved them, so we brought in a few more this year. Um, a couple of them are just smaller versions, six foot three and six foot four versions. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a football jig and big worm rod, mm -hmm. uh, and there is the spinnerbait or finesse worm fluke rod. Uh, basically, just shorter versions of existing models that we had, uh, mm -hmm. but just there's a lot of people that just want shorter rods. Sure. Um, you know, the guys, you know, if he's only five foot eight, you know, sometimes a seven, seven and a half foot <laughs> rod is a little bit harder to cast underhand, all that. So, a few shorter models. And then we took the football jig and big worm rod and turned it into a spinning rod. Because mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of people around the country, especially in Texas, mm -hmm. want a spinning rod that they yep. can fish 12 pound test, 15 pound test on, uh, have a heavy action spinning rod. So took that one, turned it into a spinning rod. That turned out awesome. Now this one here is the one that I love. Uh, this, is the, this is the newest introduction for the finesse line. It's drop shot rod. Yep. It's seven foot two. Uh, it's a long, light, super balanced finesse fishing rod. You can you can do a few other things on it, you know, other than a drop shot, but we just label it as a drop shot rod. But those are the new models this year on the, the Honeycomb series. And then uh, on Tessera's, uh, the original line, the heavy duty workhorses, same thing. We had a couple shorter models over there for uh, people that want a you know, six foot rod. Anything the bass angler needs, you now have it. Gotta have it. And so we're just trying to make as many choices for everybody as we can. And just, uh, you know, the bottom line is uh, the whole purpose of this is, to, you know, the the, whether it's the honeycombs or the tesseras, but any of my rods is trying to give you guys, the consumers, the best possible rod you can have for the money. Right, and we, that's, that's, that's what we've done. We appreciate that. My pleasure. Time, Thank you.